Good morning, folks. Looking top left, we see the only relevant solar flare of the last day, a C9.4 class flare, almost an M, but it occurred behind the limb. We just caught a piece of it. We will get to see this spot come in over the next day and a half. High energy protons remain, peaking out overnight, barely up into storm range, and even while going down now, the effect on Earth's polar region is still evident on the D region absorption. Our Earth-facing solar quiet persists, despite some growing sunspots on the disk. We saw these grow and move around, but they remain magnetically split side to side, while the remaining spots seem to lack complexity and the umbral size to fire big. Solar wind shows above average telemetry, but nothing major. KP is elevated a bit the last few hours, and we've taken some plasma penetration past Earth's magnetosphere. But all in all, a very calm day on our star. Moving on to seismicity. This highly unusual quake in Portugal is even weirder when you see it actually rang into 5 and magnitude 6 range on the full listings. Also note a swarm in the central Atlantic right on the ridge, at least three moderate tremors there. Our third above average Africa quake in as many days as well, one way south of Australia and another four pointer in Oregon, capped with a tremor that hit magnitude six on a couple meters in the Indian Ocean. Big story today recaps the winter smack the US just took. Not only is this the earliest snowfall in recorded history for South Carolina, it fell to the tune of 16 inches. That's quite a way to break a record. In fact, we had record snow and record cold across much of the east, from snow totals north into New England to record early November cold in southern Florida. Folks, this is one of our most important topics of discussion and where we find the most attacks on the discourse. The UN recently published their latest regurgitation of the political lines, only this time they actually pulled back their wording a bit. Not that you'd know it from the media coverage, you'd think they said something new and terrifying. But perhaps you notice that the heat of climate change isn't really so bad, but the cold seems to shatter records. Channel veterans have been watching that for more than two years. The problem is that the real danger comes from cold, and of the 27 billion spent studying the climate every year, they spend not one cent studying the antithesis of warming. Folks, this is where I recommend our climate change playlist. You can click my name here on YouTube and then scroll down the channel page when it loads. You can find all of our playlists there. It will take one hour to watch all these videos in the climate change list, but you'll jump about 10 steps ahead of the mainstream propaganda and understand why climate change remains such an important matter. You could also just scroll down on this video page and find my comment that has our websites listed at the top. Click read more to get today's featured story links and links to our playlists. Back to the news as Nuri begins northward swing past Japan there. Back in the East Pacific we see Vance as a level 2 hurricane settling back onto its original track for Mexico. Still got a major snowmaker in New England as that low churns away. But now, we'll begin to warm back up starting in the central states as a northern flow of heat and moisture is one half of convergence drawing up to the northwest low which pulls the cooler air around the west side for the other half. There will be storms shooting east off the convergence and some big time snow out west, possibly more than the last few days. Cue the broken record. Is this thing ever going to leave? Convergence at the coastline is where our storm alerts fall. Down under, we see a convergence sitting atop New Zealand and another forming in the north and northeast portions of Australia. They will dance a bit today and drop the weather alerts for this region. Helio Viewer appears to be taking another couple days off, so we're at Proba, STO, and Iris for shots of our start to close. 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.05 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.